Okay, this is a, a quick update on my uh, PCMCA card. Um, it's a new uh, PC card I'm making that um, it emulates a Sound Blaster, a Wi-Fi network card, does CD-ROM emulation. It does a lot of things. I, I made a previous video introducing it, and I'll put a link in the description for that. I also have a form, a Google form, linked in the description. Um, if you're interested, if you think you might be interested in one of these or you know somebody, if you could share it and fill it out so I can get an idea, you know, what the demand is like for like for one of these. Um, so in in my first video, one of the features that I talked about was um, CD-ROM emulation, and in particular I was working on a tappy CD-ROM emulation. Uh, but I was having some problems. And not necessarily problems with a tappy emulation, but the fact that I'm trying to emulate a lot of fu functions simultaneously on the card, more than would have been done previously, or features that were ever combined. So, for example, there was never a uh, a tappy interface uh, car, a card with a tappy interface, a sound blast, or an MPU four hundred one, a network adapter um, that never existed. So, there's no there's no point enablers or drivers for something like that, um, and I don't want to have to write drivers. Um, for everything, so I try to f stick to uh, hard emulating hardware in a way that I can use existing drivers. So, with that in mind, and the Atapi thing is still a, a future project, but um, for the CD-ROM emulation, um, what I ended up doing was um, uh, somebody on our on our Discord mentioned the you know these. These old Panasonic drives, this Panasonic interface that, you know, they used to plug into sound cards. Um, or they also had these, these dedicated uh, um, controllers. They were very simple. And this one, as an example, is so simple, it, there's no DMA and there's no interrupt. And that's ideal uh, to emulate uh, alongside um, all the other functions I'm trying to do. So I don't have to worry about juggling DMA emulation of the Sound Blaster and the CD-ROM at the same time, and I don't have to uh, multiplex in software another interrupt line um, because it doesn't need an interrupt. So I basically, I got one, I put it in a machine, I used a PicoGus as my log uh, logic analyzer probe, um, and I just kind of verified, you know, the commands and how it was behaving, and I compared that with the uh, Linux drivers, um, and, uh, and then ba basically... Where, where that gets me now is um, I've got so here's a, a micro SD card so it basically has um, I, I've loaded some uh, you know uh, some bin Q dumps um, that are, are are taken from some from from some CD ROMs and I also have an ISO on there and uh, you know uh, you know you stick it into the micro SD thing on the on the card. And then uh, fire up the computer, and basically, um, what you'll do, what what you do is um, the uh, the card. So I, I enable the card like normal with my. Um, you can either use my point enabler or you can use card services. Um, and now we have you know we have our sound blaster support now. Um, so that's all the DMA emulation and all that's taking place for the Sound Blaster. Um, but then um, there's this is the uh, Creative Sound um, Sound Blaster driver. It's called it's SB2CD.sys. So I just I've got a, just a simple batch file here just to I'm using devload to load it just because I don't have it in config.sys because of the order I'm showing this in. But if we run start um, there now we have uh, a CD-ROM drive. And you'll see there's um, there's nothing loaded right now, so I've made a very simple um, um, command that lets me specify what CD I want to load from the SD card. So I just loaded the uh, it's a Quake disk. So you'll see here's this is the uh, a Quake CD, um, and then now we also have the option of uh, set CD. I think two. Yeah, that's a music CD. So if we go play CD. We have a uh, CD audio out of the uh, jack. Um, so.
so just to jump jump back, if I go set C, uh, CD1, um, and we go to a, a speed sys, i.e. speed sys, um, we'll see that, and I'm sure there's some optimization um, uh, possible for this, but uh, even in, in its uh, current state, it does uh, a three times CD-ROM. So the original drive interfaces w was really intended for a, a 2x. I think maybe sometime there was a 4x, I don't know. But this is, I'm getting uh, 3x speeds and we'll probably be able to do um, better in the future. Um, and this is also um, uh, set CD2. This is also can all be done simultaneously. So if I start the, um, for example, I start the, the CD audio and I leave it running, we can still use Sound Blaster audio. So you could uh, you can also mix the other uh, music in. Not that you would want to do this, but but it's just it's mixing it all. If you want to listen to some classical music while you uh, play Doom, no problem. And then this also, this works in um, Windows. Oh, I don't have Windows 95 um, on here, but it will work in Windows 95. But here's Windows 3.1. Um, that error is just Sound Blaster related. Um, I'm still working on that. But if I go to CD Audio, see we can control the... So that's... So no problem. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the CD-ROM emulation. It seems to be uh, working uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, here's an, an example of a, a mixed CD. Would be uh, that's missed. What about Warcraft? So uh, this is the Warcraft disc, but of course Warcraft also has uh, music. So if I go. Uh, play uh, CD, you can play the audio portion of it. Um, yeah, it starts at 14 seconds, uh, the first track is the data track. So yeah, that's the, that's the current state of the um, Panasonic CD-ROM emulation. And again, if you, if you want to know more, take a look in the description. There's a link to uh, my introduction video to the card. And uh, please, if you're interested in one of these cards or you know somebody that is, please share it and fill that out so I can um, pinpoint, you know, you know how many of these that I'm, I'm going to create. Um, so uh, that's it, and uh, look forward to seeing some comments. I, I, did, I got a lot of comments on the last video about different types of boards that uh, people would like to see. Um, that won't make sense un unless you've watched the previous video, but I'm... Uh, working on a, 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 a board that has um, a, a MIDI output for, uh, you know, some people didn't really care about the, because this, this has, essentially has a, um, one of these S2 wavetable, the, the same thing as the same chip is on board here, but some people didn't care about that, they have their own, um, they just wanted to hook up to an external MIDI or something, so I've squeezed in an external MIDI jack and a couple things, um, and I'll go into some more details in in some future videos and some future demonstrations. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the CD-ROM emulation, and uh, I'll see you in the comments.